Good morning. Uh, today we're going to read Psalm 135. It's 21 verses, and we're going to read all of it, and there's a reason for that. So, um, settle down and listen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good, and to his name, sing to his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself. Israel as his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great and that the Lord, our Lord, is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the ends of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain and brings forth the wind from his storehouses. He it was who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both man and beast, who in your midst, O Egypt, sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants, who struck down many nations and killed mighty kings, Sihon, king of Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to his people Israel. Your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your renown, O Lord, throughout all the ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak. They have eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Well, that is mostly a psalm of praise. <coughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, or as it would be in Hebrew, hallelujah. Uh, so it starts off with this, you know, praise the Lord, he's good, praise the Lord, sing praises to his name. And then in verse 5, the Lord is great. He's above all gods. He, you know, he controls the weather and the earth and uh, makes the clouds come and all of that. And then in verse 8, it's not that he created the world, but what he does in the world. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt. Remember that story? And did all kinds of signs and wonders against Pharaoh. He killed all these kings as they were going through the wilderness and and marching into Israel. <coughs> he, <coughs> excuse me. He uh, he was on their side, and they defeated all these other kings. And so then, uh, verse thirteen, the third part, he talks about how he will vindicate uh, his name and take care of his servants that the idols of the nations are just lumps of silver and gold. They don't have any breath. They can't see. They can't hear. They can't speak. And um, those who worship them are like them. They're just sort of reactionless blobs, I guess you could say. Um, and then it ends then with, you know, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, all you houses of Israel and stuff. So, is God creates, God controls the earth, the weather, the cosmos, the everything about the the planet. God also controls history and intervenes and acts for his people in history. And then um, in that in that action in history, we see that those who don't follow him, that follow other gods, well, those gods are just man-made lumps of something made out of wood or silver or gold, and they don't have any power. And so that's the Hebrews thinking about about their God, this um, what Walter Brueggemann refers to as the wild, untamable Yahweh, uh, who can't be controlled or even understood, but who is out there acting on our behalf. Well, God is acting on our behalf. Now, that doesn't mean that we get... Um, that whatever we want comes to pass. It doesn't mean that 
We don't have suffering. Uh, we don't have um, pain. And sometimes we say, hey, God, what are you doing? Why, why is this happening? But um, nonetheless, God is working on our behalf, and we should learn to give him Give him praise. So praise the Lord today, and we will see you tomorrow.